Um, it's good to see everyone here. I hope everyone's having a, uh, a good day today. Um, and we're gonna be making some rock candy um, using sugar. So this is really, really easy. So this you can make with everything that's in your kitchen right now without any issues at all. I've raided the Box Hill Library staff room to collect all these ingredients. Um, so we've got water, very easy one, usually comes out of a tap, often comes out of a bottle. Uh, we have sugar, so the staff members at Box Hill Library are gonna be very upset that they're gonna be missing the sugar from their coffee and tea. Um, but for today, we've got more important science to do. We also have some food coloring. So we can make different color rock crystal candy using the food coloring. So this is special coloring that you can put in food and so you can eat it. So you don't want to put something like a texture in it because that tastes really bad and it's not good for you. Um, also we have some cups. So I've got a cup here. I've got one measured out with water for our sticks. We've also got a glass that we're going to make our rock crystals in. And then we've got another cup here. So this one here I've measured out. This is one cup and we're going to use lots of cups of sugar in our rock crystal candy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our icy pole sticks or skewers. So I've got a few different ones here. I've got some, some skewers and I've got some icy pole sticks. And what we need to do is we need to put our skewers and icy pole sticks in a glass of water. And what that's going to do is it's going to get it nice and wet and it's going to soak inside. And it's going to mean that we're going to be able to have our sugar sticking to our icy pole sticks. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this sugar and I'm going to pour some into a plate or a bowl. So what we need to do is we need to coat the icy pole sticks and skewers or you can use anything. You could even use string if you wanted to. Um, this is what we had on hand. So I'm trying to make this out of things that we have in the kitchen on the day. So you can be a bit creative. You could go out to the backyard and find a twig. Um, I don't recommend it, but you could. But for today, we'll use a couple of icy pole sticks and a couple of skewers that I just found in the drawer down in the staff room. So I'm gonna pour a bit of sugar into a bowl and we're gonna use that to coat our icy pole sticks and skewers. So what we need to do is we're essentially making like a crystal seed. So we're sticking water, I mean we're sticking sugar to our icy pole sticks and then we're gonna leave it on the side to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab out our nice wet icy pole stick. I'm gonna pop it in our sugar bowl. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and coated. So you can see there that we've got lots of sugar already on there. So this is where the sugar crystals will grow. So they will attach themselves onto the sugar that's already on there. And then it'll start forming over the next 48 hours. So we've got one there ready to go. I'll grab another one and I might make two of these icy pole stick ones. And then maybe I'll just do one of the skewers just so we have one for comparison. So I'm just gonna leave it on the side and it's just gonna dry up a little bit. This might be a little bit too big to fit in there very well, but we will make do. So if you have a look there, it's nice and coated on our stick. So we're gonna leave that on the side and that's sort of just gonna dry for a little while. So the next part, this bit is a little bit trickier. You're gonna need mum or dad or somebody else to give you a hand. So we're gonna to need to use a stove and you need to be very, very careful. So an adult is a must have for this part. I burnt myself twice preparing for this. So we need to be very, very safe and we need to have an adult help us. So your adult is going to turn on the stove. And we're gonna turn it up nice and warm. And I've got three cups of water in here. So this jug here, I've measured this one out like they do the, the, the magic of cinema. I've prepared one earlier and I'm just gonna pop that into our pan. So there's three cups of water and you can see that it is, you know, pretty, uh, pretty full in this little pan. And that's just gonna start heating up. So what happens is when the water heats up, it can dissolve more sugar. So the sugar dissolves into the water but then you increase the heat and you can actually dissolve more water. So what will happen is as the water is cooling down, there's gonna be more sugar in it than it can actually support in the water. 
So what will happen is that sugar needs to go somewhere. It needs to reform into crystals. So when you look in the bag of sugar, the bag of sugar has little specks of sugar, the neck sugar crystals. So essentially what's gonna happen is we're gonna have really cool shaped sugar crystals forming on our little sticks or string or whatever we're gonna use. So I'm gonna take my trusty little cup, which I measured out before. So this is approximately one cup. Um, if you have mum or dad or someone else around, they might have a measuring cup in the drawer and that can make it so you can, uh, can measure things out a little bit better. But we're going to just use this one here. So about three quarters full on this was about one cup. So I'm gonna start putting our sugar in to our pot. And if you have a look in there, you can clearly see that that pot is very, very full of sugar, but we're gonna slowly dissolve it in. So this is starting to get nice and warm. And eventually it'll get to the point where all of this sugar inside this pot is gonna be dissolved completely into the water. So it might take a little bit of time, um, but just keep it going on the stove. And then as you stir it, you can see that there's starting to be a little bit dissolved into the water and we need to keep going. So we're gonna put around six cups of sugar into our three cups of water. So I measured our three cups of water. So I'm gonna put three, uh, six cups of sugar. So it's double the amount of sugar to water. So that's a ratio of two to one. Um, if you wanna do one cup of, um, sorry, if you wanna do a little bit less, you could do you know one and a half cups of water and do three cups of sugar. Um, it's, it's whatever you wanna make it. So this is gonna make quite a lot of rock candy, um, but that's even better because we're gonna have lots of fun eating our rock candy. So the sugar is starting to really dissolve now. So I'm gonna start getting ready to put in some more sugar into this uh, solution. So I'm gonna grab another, I might put another two in there now. And it's gonna get nice and saturated. So the idea is that it will be super saturated. So the solution being super saturated means that no more can dissolve into the water. And once no more can dissolve into the water, that's when we know that we're ready to go. Um, we will have to sort of do some cooling of our solution and then that's where the magic happens. So. We're starting to get there now. If you have a look. So you see that Sam the cameraman? It's nice. So it's a sort of a bit opaque, but it's it's slowly getting there. So we'll put another one or two cups in there. We'll make sure that it's nice and dissolved. So it will take a little while. Um, and then what we'll do is you can also put, you know, different colors in there, but if you don't have color, you don't have to put it in there. So um, it's completely up to you. You can also put flavoring in there. Um, I found some vanilla essence in my cupboard when I was making this at home. So I made some vanilla flavored rock candy. Um, but if you have, you know, peppermint or uh, any other one, strawberry, raspberry, you can make some really, really yummy, cool flavors. So we're starting to get this lot dissolved. So I'm gonna go and get some more sugar. This time I will dump in two. Cool. So there we go. So there's a lot in there now, and this pot is starting to get mighty full. So maybe I should have grabbed a bigger one. Um, but this is what we had on hand. So we had all our sugar, we had our icy pole sticks, some uh, food coloring and a, uh, a saucepan on hand at the, uh, the Box Hill Library. And uh, we were able to do some delicious, delicious science out of it. So if you have a look at that, it's starting to get quite thick. But you can see that there's still some sugar in there. So we wanna try and dissolve as much of that as we can. So I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit more and see if we can get, get this last little bit dissolved before I make a mess. Um, 
So we, we ideally don't want to boil the water. We just want it to get nice and hot, just to that point where all the sugar is dissolved. So it's starting to get a little bit of boiling going on there. So I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. It's nice and uh, mostly dissolved now. So you can see that it's definitely starting to really dissolve into the there. So it's quite thick and gloopy. So this is like a bit of a sugar syrup. So this on its own would taste quite delicious, but I don't recommend you touch it because it's very, very hot. So we need to let it cool down. And uh, once we've let it cool down, it's gonna make for some delicious rock candy. So not much longer. I think that's probably super saturated. So that means that there's too much sugar in the water and there's not enough room for the sugar to dissolve into the water. So it might take a little bit longer. It might even be even quicker for you at home. You could, ease, or, uh, you could even boil the kettle and put that in the pot and get a bit of a head start with some hot water. Um, we just wanna make sure that the water is nice and hot for the sugar to dissolve into. And we also don't want the uh, sugar to crystal, uh, not crystallize, to caramelize. So if it caramelizes, that's not what we want because that means it'll go all brown and sort of a bit bitter and sort of uh, very, very sort of uh, sticky. So I think that's as good as we get. What do you reckon, Sam, cameraman? We're good? Looks good, man. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna turn this off now. So it's nice and hot and very, very much dissolved in there. So I think we've got rid of most of it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our adult helper. So it's us in, in control of this experiment, not the adult, but they're our helper and they're gonna help us out with pouring the solution. So we're gonna pour some of the solution into a cup. So this one here is gonna be Potentially very messy. Now, I'm very sorry to the uh, the Box Hill Library staff member who uh, might come into this room next, but we're gonna go for a bit of a pour. Cool, all right. So we've successfully made a mess. Um, sorry, mum and dad. Luckily I have some paper towel on hand to clean up. I'll just put that to the side. Cool, so we have our delicious cup of dissolved water. Now it's time to choose a color that we're gonna put into it. So my favorite color is red, but today looking at around the room, we've got a bit of a purple going on. So I'm gonna get some blue and some red. I'm gonna put a couple of drops of each in there. I'm gonna see if we can try and make a purple. So I'm gonna do three, four, five of red and maybe one, two, three of blue. And I'm gonna give that a nice little stir. So I'll get one of our sticks from before. I'm gonna give that a bit of a stir. It's gone sort of purpley. It's quite dark, that's okay, that's fine. We'll roll with that. So now we've got our Delicious sugar solution. It's got a bit of a purple tinge to it. I don't know if you can see it, there's some light there. It is very purple actually, if you look in there. So the next thing is we're gonna grab our sticks from before. So our sticks are nice and dry now. So now that they're uh, adhered quite well, so we've got our stick, they're gonna go in there. But first we need to let it uh, cool down for a little while. So we're gonna put it to the side and then we're gonna pretend that it's cooled down. So I'm gonna bring it back. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our sticks of sugar in our solution. So all you need to do is to put the stick with the solution, in, uh, stick with the sugar into the solution, and we're gonna let it sit there. It's gonna sit there for uh, 24 to 48 hours. And what's gonna happen is the sugar is going to cool down in the solution and then there's going to be there's not going to be enough room in the water in the sugar for the for the um the heated sugar to stay dissolved so what's going to happen is going to have to recrystallize and what it's going to do is it's going to recrystallize and it's actually going to take to the stick 
um, and it's gonna form a nice big crystal on there and it's gonna be delicious and you're gonna get to eat it. So what we'll do is we're gonna leave this to the side for the next day, maybe two days. And what we'll do is we'll come back to that and I will treat the, uh, the Box Hill Library staff to some yummy, yummy rock candy. So just remember when you're working with the stove, make sure there's an adult to help out. Make sure that when you pour hot liquids into a cup to do it over a sink and not burn yourself. Use a ladle or something just in case and you won't have an issue like I did where I've made a mess. Um, and then leave your solution to sit for the next you know, two days or so. So what I've done is I've got a little video here where we're gonna show you what the rock crystals look like once you've left them for two days. So I've made some before and I made them at home and I left them for about 48 hours and you can see how awesome they grew and how delicious they were. So we'll uh, cut over to that video and then you'll uh, get to see how good they were. So I'll uh, show you that one now. So as you can see, after 48 hours, I've pulled some of these out. Look how big those are. So these ones are massive. Um, so that was only 48 hours. You can even leave them for longer, but it was sort of at the point where that's as big as they were gonna get. So you could make heaps and heaps of those. And with the amount of solution that we made today, you could probably make 40 or 50 of them. So you could make all of them and take them to school. So, Hopefully you uh, had a good time and hopefully you have a good time making some at home. We'd love to see some photos or videos of anyone who's made them at home. Um, feel free to check out our YouTube or our Facebook and send in any videos or photos to our Facebook or to our email uh, of any that you've made because we'd love to see them. We'd love to post up some photos of ones that you've made at home.